out and enjoy this beautiful day the most I have given me. And like me, able to get out and get some sunshine, some fresh air, and some exercise.
do have a, a good idea about the movie of thought. It was basically Cool J taking his family's past and him making a change. Thank you, Most High. That is a good point. Because, because just as our Hebrew family is now or are now, we're in bad shape and we need us family folk to stand up and make a change and say no more. No more to the drugs and alcohol. No more to the, the um, what's the word, um, sleeping around giving ourselves opportunity for disease, infidelity, adultery, all these things that plague our community. We need to say no. Somebody has to say no. I'm not gonna do that no more in my life. And say yes to the Most High's kingdom, his will, his desire here on this earth. And see, that's the most important thing that we can do today. And every day we live, asking the Most High for His daily instructions as to how we can make His kingdom come. Or how we can bring the kingdom here on this earth. I guess a good question would be, what does those words mean to you? When Yahushua was teaching his disciples the framework of prayer. Like I said, the framework. He didn't say pray verbatim. This prayer, this prayer. But to have this heart and mind state when you're praying to the Father. And he said, thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So that means the Father's main desire is that heaven will come to earth. But how many of us know? In order for that to happen, he has to have ambassadors prepare the way. And that his heavenly kingdom will come through us. And just as Yahushua said, 
you're not going to be able to see it. It's not by what you can actually see, but it's actually inside of us. And that means it's not going to be some natural king. Notice I said natural. And I guess the best way to put it is it's not going to be like the disciples thought it was going to be. And a whole lot more of his followers. They tried to parade him on into Jerusalem and put a crown on him. He said, no. So I got to get your hearts right first because you'll make me king today and tomorrow you'll be ready to crucify me, which they did. <clears throat> and see, this is how we are. We, we claim we want the kingdom to come, but see, we only want the physical attributes of the kingdom. Mm -hmm, pardon me. We want the kingdom to a limit. We want the kingdom as long as we're prosperous. Have a nice car, nice house, plenty of money in the bank. Like one of the prosperity teachers used to teach. Nothing broken, nothing missing. How many of us know that that ain't what Yahusha preached? No, he didn't preach that. Neither did Paul nor Peter. I think it was Peter, it may have been Paul, who said, don't think it's strange when these diverse temptations come upon you. And don't think all of us other real children of the Most High aren't going through it too. Because all of us are facing it, going through it. But see, this great turning away is of our people. Just like the text says, nothing new under the sun. They walked away and turned away from Yahusha when they didn't get what they wanted from him. When they was hoping they was gonna get the rule over the Romans. But when that didn't happen, they said crucify. Crucify. Come on. If they did it to him, they'll do it to us. But yeah, what are you doing today for the kingdom? I had just one more lap around to go on my bike. And I was contemplating stopping and eating my snack because I was feeling pretty strong. And was feeling I ain't need my apple right now. But the most high put a thought on my mind from when I was doing my last squats. On my last, um, right before I got on the bike. And I wanted to keep my momentum going since my muscles were warm and it's such a chilly day and the wind is cutting. But as I got to riding, that thought just kept coming back to the forefront of my mind, if that's the right way to say it. 
coming back to the coming back to mine and it is one of, of availability if the most highest kingdom is to come through us we have to make ourselves available to him and like I said the, the sooner the better and what I mean by that is early the earlier the better and what I mean by that is when you first get up you're going to see what thus says the most high pardon me instead of letting the other things in your life take precedence to his will because they are they are as soon as you get up with the idea okay I'm gonna put the most high first this time today I'm gonna do it here come that old Hasatan Satan the devil with something you need to do that's gonna be so much more important uh oh I need to run over here to do this with somebody else they calling me uh oh I need to go do this with somebody else they calling me uh oh my company is calling me I gotta go see what Dust says the boss or Dust says mom in them but the most high gets a back seat and you driving his car <laughs> Oh boy, that's a sad situation. But how much of you are you making available to the Most High so that His kingdom can come on this sphere? Or in your sphere of influence? 